going on guys welcome back to clash of there today we're over here in one hive where we're checking out the electro dragon attack we used the electro dragon attack a handful of times in the clan war leagues and when identifying the right base to use it on this attack is very very powerful i'll show you what you're looking for specifically and so you know when to use this attack to get some good uh say two stars but also a chance for a triple so make sure you hit that like button hit that subscribe button let's get right into action also on another note guys we have the update coming here very very soon and so we need to start getting prepped with the changes to the hammers we just finished up the clan war leagues so you need to make sure that you are buying the hammers that you need now so that you are ready when the update drops because there's going to be a seven day cooldown on buying hammers you need to make sure you are stocked up now so i'm going to hook up this uh hammer of heroes make sure i have it ready i also want a hammer of bells i'm thinking and a hammer of fighting i'm not going to get the hammer of building i will get building potions to deal with that instead and actually i don't even know if i need the hammer of fighting no i do i do so we'll get that so we'll get all the hammers we need so we don't have to deal with that cooldown and as far as uh building potions looks like uh they are going to be doubling in price so make sure that you stock up on the building potions now i have currently two so i'll pick up another three here and get ready so i can uh, max out my my base as quick as possible as soon as the update drops so with that i also have uh check this out supercell sent me 2000 gems player support you received 2000 gems thanks for participating in the content creator war congratulations on winning 2000 gems i will happily take those off their hands add that that gives me 3000 gems which i'm going to be keeping an eye out for uh book of heroes in the in the store here because i need to get my grand warden up 10 levels as soon as that update drops so we're gonna we're gonna be pushing that we also uh want to make sure that we can get that new builder as soon as possible because as soon as that update drops builder hall 9 is going to launch and i already have a maxed out base but i'm going to need to get five more levels on my builder machine before i can get that next builder unlocked which will help me progress my base a little bit further although i think by the time i get that builder uh up the extra five levels i think i'll already here pretty much be at max level on my base so i I'm a, i have mixed feelings about the new builder I think most people are going to be so close to max on their main base by the time that they can even unlock that because you need to be pretty much max builder hall nine almost to be able to actually get that. So uh, I'll probably be using that extra builder to work on the progress on my builder base. But either way, let's head over to one hive and check out how we did in the clan of Whirlies and check out these e attacks. I had to bounce over to my Town Hall 9 to go check out the Clan War Leagues in one hive because my Town Hall 12 was bounced out to go do five versus five wars for the ESL uh, qualifiers to try to get into the worlds because we didn't quite make the top four here. We got 37. We did win seven out of seven wars in the Clan War Leagues, but it wasn't quite enough. There's a handful of teams well known above us here, JP Blaze, or Blaze JP, I mean, and uh, Noble Nines, Team Queso, and a handful of other Ostjax, Kings, and all the way up at the top there in third, Vitang. So we're gonna see some fresh uh, people. We'll see who is actually gonna end up going to Poland out of those groups, but we're gonna try to get the other one. It looks like Just Ordinary was up there as well again. So lots of great clans making it up into the tops of the clan world league. So here it is. We won, we stayed in champion one. We won our bracket by a huge margin here and we will continue to fight on. Let's go check out these E-Drag attacks now. All right, first we're gonna check out Jimmy here. Jimmy's coming in with a very balloon heavy double heal electro dragon attack. So this attack is usually done against bases with multi infernos if you have all single infernos which you guys may find a lot more than we do we face a lot of multi infernos people trying to stop the bad attacks and if you're seeing multi infernos then maybe incorporate some heal spells into your e-drag attacks as you'll see as a common theme throughout this video since we fight so many multi infernos so He's gonna use his king on one side. The king's job was to go clear these buildings out here uh, next to this dead space here where the queen was going over in areas where she can shoot over the wall there. She's gonna pop her ability and push through. And so now here, I'll pause it for one second because I wanna look at the chain pathing in the backside of the base here. So every air defense, what you're looking for is a chain path into them. So this air defense here has chain pathing through the town hall. So if they hit that town hall, which they'll probably be under a warring ability, under a rage, etc., then they can get the chain pathing into this air defense on the opposite side of it. 
this uh, chain can can bounce two squares. So if you're trying to defend against e drags, then you want to make sure that the the air defenses are at least two squares away from high hit point structures that people could chain through to get them. On this one here, the eagle is right here with one space difference between them, and so we can if he can hit that eagle, then he can take down the air defense. Once again, on the back side here, he has. Expo, Expo, and Cannon. He has uh, Wizard Tower over here, so there's plenty of chain opportunities there to get that air defense down as well. So if you can get good chain pathing through those uh, buildings there, like look at this, there's like a, a storage over here outside of the range of the air defense here that if anything swoops on this far side here and survives that, then there's so many approaches to that air defense there where you can get chain pathing and take it out before the dragons are ever threatened. So he's gonna push in here, he's gonna use some heal spells to reinforce Course, wherever he's fallen a little bit short there he's fighting that baby dragon that came out of the cc a hound was also in the cc so he's careful to not pull the cc with his heroes and he pops out warden ability gets through the town hall and gets the chain pathing to the air defense on the other side of the town hall while he's under that warden ability the balloons and the e-drags help take out that top air defense and now they're moving into the final air defense he has the heals that kept everything alive and topped off through the uh, the multi-infernos and now he just needs to make the final approach to this air defense so as long as he has good chain pathing into it he should have a pretty good chance of reaching it before it takes out all the e-drags in this case the top e-drags do go down a little bit early and the warden tries to finish it off there but he's targeting the wizard tower instead so we now we rely on the e-drag down here at the bottom to get chains into the air defense so if there are good chain pathing from uh, every direction there onto those uh, backside air defenses, then you have a pretty good chance of bringing it down. And that's how you choose your angle of attack. Obviously, you need to take down the town hall first, and he gets it through the cannon, through the dark key storage, like I pointed out in the uh, second code there, and he brings it in here. So we'll fast forward through that one, and we're gonna go check out a couple more variations, but this is just one style of how to do the e-drag attack. So it has a couple swag troops there with that minion and archer, and we're gonna go check out a queen walk variation next all right let's check out this one by rob where he actually is going to incorporate the queen walk into the attack here so when you see multiple air defenses on the edge of the base here that that queen can reach it's often worth the extra rages to get her to walk that edge there so as you can see the town hall is also on the edge there catches a troll test of so being on his healers a little bit there only four healers in this attack using a bowler bounce to funnel that queen after the archer tower was targeted so that bowler can bounce safely gets that rage down that rage will keep her up and get her through the enemy king there and then i need one more rage to get through the town hall so that bowl is still doing some work here now watch this uh, air defense here look for pathing into the base where you can send in balloons and try to snipe off an air defense i would like to see uh, a haste used here he decided that he was just going to try to overwhelm it with the balloons here brought six balloons which was you'll see is not going to be quite enough to get into that air defense and the archer tower and the air defense and the expo all together with this extra air defense here was just a bit too much for those balloons to handle but there's one more e-drag out on the edge there gonna form the funnel and maybe could have used uh the the king to form the funnel out here but decided not to because the king might walk into this cannon and then pull the cc so he opts away from that and uses the king further on in the attack there queen uses that last rage uses the ability to get through the town hall probably could have saved that ability to use that rage a little bit earlier and that's going to make the queen go down right here where she would have been able to continue on but those healers are now going to head over to the king that was just dropped on the opposite side of the base there never had to worry about that king pulling the cc because he was deployed after and that makes so that he can continue on there a freeze coming down to protect those dragons from the highest damage left on the base there that expo punching out some serious damage and that inferno starting to target getting all of them into one freeze and that's what you want to do you want to maximize your freezes on the base and make sure that you're getting as much value for every single one of them and prevent as much damage as you can on those e-drags. Let's say we got four e-drags left alive, all taking some pretty good damage, almost about to go down. And that's the downside of these e-drag attacks. Since uh, if you don't have that heal spell, then those e-drags, they tend to punch really far in the base. It looks like they're moving really, really well. And then suddenly they just stop. So he's got a couple troll Teslas on this base here. Looks like he had three troll Teslas in the corners of his base. That King's gonna go take care of one of them. e is gonna go take out that cannon. And then everything will converge on that last troll Tesla. So brings it in here, identifying some weaknesses on the base here and makes it happen. Nice job, Rob.
All right, the next E-Drag three star came in from Rob here, and he's gonna come in basically charging this town hall with the E-Drags here, but he's gotta form that funnel first. Look on the back side of the base here. We have storages, we have cannons and infernos all around the backside air defense. That is why he chose to do this attack on this base because he has good chain pathing into those final air defenses and he's got a, he's, the base is gonna collapse in the center there and rush into this uh, the single inferno and he'll have freezes ready to deal with it. So he's just gonna drop an, an ice column on one side with that queen to go in after this air defense, staying out of that CC range, which is very important. You don't want your funneling troops to pull the CC whenever possible. She didn't step up and take out the air defense and the uh, funnel is very solid right there. The king's gonna come in on the other side all by himself there, just gonna clear out the defenses there and the trash and then start working along that edge there, getting as much as he can keeping those e-drags nice and centered using a couple balloons there with the e-drags try not to use a uh, you would, sometimes you want to avoid using too many balloons because those balloons can surge forward and take out the e-drags targets before they have a chance to strike and that minimizes their uh, their chances to even attack because the e-drags just keep getting their targets stolen so he's going to come in and start freezing the queen freezing the eagle and punch in rages as much as he can to keep those e-drags alive as he approaches into the multi infernos he gets that heal down that's going to keep him protected one more rage to get him through and now he's got good chain pathing into the air defense down there at six o'clock another freeze for the other side to get those dragons enough time with a rage on them and all their defenses are down totally crushed this base but that's exactly what you're looking for guys you heal on the multi infernos you freeze through the single infernos and then you uh just need to get good chain pathing into those air defenses on the back side and so if you're trying to defend against e-drags then one of the things that you need to do is make sure that you have not good chain pathing opposite of your town hall to get in those air defenses make sure that there's a two style or a two space gap between them and the surrounding hit point or hit the surrounding buildings or make sure that the buildings around them are lower hit point buildings so they go down before the air defenses go down so nice attack there rob and we'll go check out one more before we call it here all right, now we're gonna go check out my own attack here from war number one. So this one here, I started off with a queen charge. I use a P.E.K.K.A. and the king here to go in. The P.E.K.K.A.'s job was to tank that king while my king was fighting him. And so they can work together there and take that king down and I can preserve my king's health so he has enough health to continue to push through all of this trash out here and stay alive while that queen goes the other way. So there was a dual purpose there. There was funneling the queen and setting up to the get a really solid funnel here. So I'm gonna pop that king ability and then I send in just two balloons here to go in as Coco loons in front of the E-Drags. Send in that slammer and the warden. Looks like one of the balloons finds a black mine so it worked out perfectly. The queen is gonna go the other way. She takes some heavy damage and pops her ability and then she's in some danger here. She, I, I was a little bit short on it when I started those E-Drags there. So the queen just took barely too much damage from that ground expo that was firing on her and then she goes down unfortunately there and the healers run across the base there and get uh, sniped off by the air defense so a little bit unfortunate there the king and the pekka did good work wrapping all the way around the base there and this queen was supposed to go up here and take out this air defense and continue on so that made the dragons up at 12 o'clock there take a little bit too much damage because that queen fell just barely short i probably should have reallocated a rage to her but these e-drags come along the south side here working their way through and this one ends up coming short so a couple little changes that i need to make and take some tips from the other guys that are better at e-drags than myself was to go after uh bases that or i need to keep that queen alive for one so i probably should have allocated a rage onto that queen to keep her up because if she was up i pretty much would have cleared out the rest of the base there she would have dealt with that and she would have gone through all of this up at the top here and these e-drags even if they fall short at the bottom side here, then they would have been okay. But I should have also brought a heal spell to get them through those multi-infernos. I didn't need so many uh, freezes. They were kind of getting wasted there. I used one to freeze up the sweeper and the, the eagle, but I could have just healed everything else up instead of freezing those and been able to get through just fine. So either way, you live and you learn. I'm still working on the e-drag attack. It is uh, people say it's a spammy strategy. It is to a certain point, but if you can read the base correctly, you can make this strategy really, really work well for yourself and you can bring in the triples and also always guarantee, guarantee that safe two star. So that's gonna be it for today, guys. Go out there and try the E-Drag attack. It is very good, but it does take a little practice and you need to customize your list for the base that you are fighting. So 
That's it for today, guys. Take it easy, and I'll see you in the next one.